Today we are talking about two-car garage dimensions. What are the minimum dimensions? What are the average dimensions? How high should your two-car garage be? And of course, most importantly, how are the dimensions going to affect the price of your two-car garage? So what are the minimum dimensions for a two-car garage? Generally speaking, 20 by 20 is the smallest that you can make a two-car garage. We still find that that's a bit tight for most people because you can only fit two really small cars in it. It's pretty hard to open the car doors without hitting things and you don't really have room for storage along the walls. So this particular garage is 20 by 26. So we're making up a bit of extra storage space at the end. But generally we find most folks want something a little bit bigger. Another thing to keep in mind is the garage door. If you have two garage doors on a 20 foot wide garage, you're gonna be limited to eight foot wide doors. In this particular case, we upgraded to one 14 foot wide door. So it gives you a little more space for pulling things in and out. So what are the average two car garage dimensions? Generally speaking, 24 by 24 up to about 24 by 30 is a pretty average size for a two car garage. So here's a couple factors you want to consider. Width wise, the average car is right around six to six and a half feet wide. Now, if it's a really small car, it could be five and a half feet. If you have a dually pickup truck, that could be eight feet. But in general, six and a half feet is a pretty good uh, average. You're gonna want a couple of feet on each side for opening doors, climbing in and out of the car. And if you're a lot like most people, you want some space on the side for extra storage, salt bags, odds and ends. So if you're doing the math, that gets you pretty close to the 20 foot minimum. So those extra four feet of a 24 foot wide garage can really come in handy. Even going 22 feet gives you a little bit of extra wiggle room over going with the bare minimum of 20 feet. So lengthwise, um, as I said, the average is usually 24 to 30 feet, but sometimes it's a lot longer than that. It really depends on the type of vehicle you have. So a subcompact car comes in right around 13 feet. Full-size pickup truck might be 20 feet long. So you wanna factor in the size of your vehicles when choosing the length for your garage. But keep in mind, if you ever plan to sell your property, buyers might have a different size vehicle than you do, and so if the garage is too small, that could be a negative selling point. Now, if your garage has a second story, you're also gonna to wanna to factor in space for stairs at the end of your garage. If you're planning for extra storage, like an ATV, motorcycle, bikes, all of that will take up some extra space that you'll wanna factor into the length. Of course, if you wanna have a workbench or any other project areas, those also uh, usually be added onto the length. So think about what all you wanna do in the garage and start to budget out the length accordingly. So height wise, the average interior garage height for two car garage is eight feet. That would be the ceiling height. Your garage door is typically gonna be about seven feet high. But keep in mind if you have a lifted pickup truck or a cargo van or something like that, you're gonna need extra space. If you're planning to put a garage door opener in your garage, you're gonna need a minimum of two inches between the top of your garage door and the ceiling height of your building. Now the overall height of a two car garage can vary a lot depending on whether it's the second story, what the pitch of the roof is, a lot of different factors that can affect the, the outside height of the garage. So here at Sheds Unlimited, our modular double wide garages are all 11 feet and seven inches high. Um, that's the exterior dimensions. And that's because of regulations for transporting the fully constructed buildings over the road. Now for a prefab two car garage like this, the total height can vary anywhere from 12 feet to 22 feet, depending on the factors I mentioned. So speaking of storage, how can you get the most out of your two car garage dimensions? Well, one easy way, as I mentioned, is to add an attic area or a full second story. That gives you a ton of extra space. If your budget doesn't allow for that, you can still add shelving on the walls up at head level 
and that'll leave the floor open for your vehicles while still maximizing the space you have to store stuff. In general, regardless of the garage type, upgrading from the minimum size 20 by 20 garage to a 24 by 24 garage is gonna increase your overall price by about 19 to 23%. To get the most up-to-date pricing, just click the link that we have below in the description. So, what are the right two-car garage dimensions for your garage? I can't answer that, but here's what I recommend. Grab a pen and paper and jot down the answers to these questions. What are the dimensions of the vehicles I want to keep in the garage? What else do I need to store in the garage besides my vehicles? Do I need space for a workbench? Do I need space for stairs? Once you've answered those questions and figured approximate dimensions for each of those items, sketch out a rough drawing and lay the garage out as you hope to have it. That should give you a pretty good idea of what minimum dimensions you need for your two-car garage. To see all different shapes, styles, and sizes of two-car garages, visit the link in the description. If you're in the eastern U.S., we'd be happy to give you a free quote on your own two-car garage. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more prefab garage videos, including how we install a garage like this in just a couple days.